While other flying camera makers have gone after enthusiasts, the Parrot Bebop is very approachable to average consumers looking to start shooting aerial video and photos without a big investment. There's a good reason why you can find Paris drones in major retailers including Best Buy, Apple and Harvey Norman, as well as from mobile service providers, made from foam, strong plastic and fiberglass, the Parrot Bebop is the safer, gentler quadcopter that you can pilot with the smartphone in your pocket. In an attempt to capture some of those enthusiasts, however, Parrot perhaps stretched a bit too far, making something that was too pricey for beginners and with not enough features or performance for experienced users. It's good for what it is, but in category that's growing rapidly, it's a tough sell. There are almost no instructions included in the box, though. To figure out the controls, you can download a user guide from Parrot's site or browse the mobile app's help section, where you'll find written and video tutorials for the Bebop. There have been several feature updates to both the Bebop and Free Flight app, but because the tutorials remain unchanged for the most part, some things you'll have to figure out on your own with the $499 Bebop, £400, O$800, you'll get two batteries and one charger, a micro USB cable, the indoor hull and four additional propellers with a small mounting tool to lock them in place. For an additional $400, 330 pounds, O$700, dollar sign 700, you can pick up a Bebop bundled with Parrot Sky Controller, which can also be purchased separately for $499, 400 pounds, O$800. dollar sign 800. If you're not a fan of flying by touchscreen alone, the Sky Controller is a very large, clunky wireless controller that gives you two joysticks, discrete controls for the camera, a button for taking off and landing and one for emergency motor cutoff, status lights for the battery of the Bebop and the controller and a return to home button. Additionally, you can wirelessly pair a tablet or phone with it for first-person view, FPV, flying.